Hello everyone, this is the familiar Davener number 28. In the morning service, as we get closer to Kriyat Shema, in the middle of the bracha, starting with the word love, ahava, either ahava Rabba or ahava tolam, that is a point where you're supposed to take your tzitzis into your fingers and get ready for Shema. In Nusach Sparditz, Maher, Vave Aleinu, Bracha V'Shalom, quickly bring upon us blessing and peace, and in the Sakashkenaz, it's Vahavi Einu Shalom. That's the point where you get your tzitzis ready for Kriyat Shema. What does peace have to do with tzitzis? It seems like tzitzis is our relationship with God, to remember all the mitzvot. And peace has to do with my relationship with human beings. So what does tzitzis have to do with Kriyat Shema? I'd like to give two answers to this question. Number one, the word Shalom does not always mean peace. Just yesterday we said it's one of the names of God. We also know from pre-1K that it means hello and goodbye. But it also comes from the word shleimut, which means full. Perhaps this minha Yisrael, this beautiful custom of bringing your tzitzis together when you say the word shalom means stop thinking in your warped mind that the interpersonal relationships between human beings mitzvot from thou shall not steal till thou shall give tzedakah and so many others are nothing to do with the mitzvot of Shabbos and Kashrus and saying brachot before you eat. They're all part of one shlimut, they're all part of one fullness. And lest you think otherwise, you take the tzitzis, which as we all know is supposed to remind us of all the mitzvot of the Torah, as we say in Shema, in the third paragraph, and reminds us they're all one. But I'd like to give a second answer, even if it does mean peace. The mitzvot are not there just for me to say, I did that. Namely, I wore tefillin. I lit the Shabbos candles. Past tense, of course. How many people do we know that say, I have davened already and don't enjoy davening? Comes along this minhag and tells you, the mitzvot are there to ultimately bring a peaceful world. Because if people did follow the mitzvot, the Jews, 613, plus all the rabbinic commandments, the non-Jews, seven Noachai commandments, the world would be peaceful. There would be a world void of murder, of theft, and so many other things. And indeed, by remembering the mitzvot, the world would be a more peaceful place. Just to give one illustration, if people remembered how important it is Shalom adam to say hello to each person, I'm pretty sure the world would be a much more friendlier place, not a place where most people walk next to each other and ignore one another. So indeed, Minghag Yisrael is to bring your tzitzis to remember all the mitzvot of God when you say the word Shalom. Either from the word fullness to remind us that interpersonal relationships are as important as our relationship with God, Shabbos is as important as giving tzedakah, it really does mean peace because if people do mitzvot properly, the world will be a more peaceful place.